Kirsten Cinema announcing she will not be running for re-election. Let me bring in NBC's Vaughn Hilliard. Vaughn, this was basically a three-way race, right? Ruben Gallego, Carrie Lake. The latest poll I saw, Kirsten Cinema was third. But tell me what's happening here. Right. Just in the last couple of hours, uh, our colleague Julie Serkin on Capitol Hill was getting some rumblings. We were talking about the fact that Kirsten Cinema could very well announce that she would not be seeking re-election for the U.S. Senate in 2024. And we, in a video just posted by the Arizona senator online, she confirmed that, in fact, she is going to step aside and not challenge the likes of Republican Carrie Lake and Democrat Ruben Gallego. Of course, it was just a year ago that she changed her party affiliation to become an independent. She was going to be facing a Democratic intra-party challenge uh, from Ruben Gallego and instead became a third party. But polling in the last months has showed her uh, with support of just 15 to 25 percent losing to Gallego and Kerry Lake. Now, of course, it was Cinema who was on the front lines of pushing for that bipartisan border package here over the last several months. And that was, to our understanding, going to potentially be a key indicator of whether she would see re-election or not. In this three-minute video posted online by Cinema, uh, it is quite telling her words. I just want to read you part of it. She says, despite modernizing our infrastructure, ensuring clean water, delivering good jobs and safer communities, Americans still choose to retreat farther to their partisan corners. These solutions are considered failures because they are too much or not enough. It's all or nothing. Compromise is a dirty word. I believe in my approach, but it's not what Americans want right now. Of course, Cinema was on the front lines, Chris, of helping pass the CHIPS Act for semiconductor manufacturing. She was on the front lines for passing the bipartisan infrastructure bill and the bipartisan piece of gun safety legislation. And she led the charge to pass the Respect for Marriage Act. Senator Cinema, you know, I actually talked with her just one week before she entered the United States Congress as a House member back in 2012. And she told me at the time that she wanted to represent Arizona in a, an independent bipartisan partisan way. And you could say over the course of the last 10 years, she did just that. Of course, she met the ire of great many Democrats around the country, refusing to pass bill of buster reform that would have allowed for the protection of abortion around the country and to codify Roe v. Wade. She, of course, refused to uh, uh, step uh, and, and uh, banish the filibuster for the purposes of passing uh, voting rights uh, reforms, much to the chagrin of many Democrats, including Ruben Gaia who uh, was led to announce his own bid against her. But as a result, uh, Kirsten Cinema, who now, along with Joe Manchin, will not be returning to the U.S. Senate in 2025, those were the two Democrats who were on the front lines of actually negotiating with Republicans up on Capitol Hill. And it was Senator Cinema in this video who gave shout outs to the likes of even Texas Senator John Cornyn, who you often saw alongside of her, not only on Capitol Hill, but also down on the border, uh, who was instrumental in trying to help pass some of the uh, the border uh, measures that she was seeking to produce. And so for uh, Senator Cinema, she concluded her video by saying for 20 years, she fought to represent Arizonans to the extent that she could. She was in the Arizona State Legislature for 10 years before that. Uh, it is quite a career that she put together between Arizona and her time in Washington, D.C. And the question here is clearly Senator Cinema uh, implying that Americans are not looking for somebody like her, but they're looking for people that play to their their uh, uh, partisan corners. And the question is, what could Sen Senator Cinema do next beyond 2024? She is still very young, uh, and there are many options in front of her, of course, Chris.